Let's take a look at the second problem this time. Now for this one, when I want to find my domain, my asymptotes and my holes, I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of factoring first. The first one, this one right here, is already in factored form. This new one is not. So let's go ahead and do some factoring. But I also want to make sure that it's in standard form in the numerator. So I'm going to rearrange that right now. We have x cubed plus 3x squared. My denominator is good to go in standard form. Now let's factor. My numerator, I have a GCF of x squared. If I were to factor that out, I'm left with x plus 3 in the numerator. My denominator, I need to do the AM method, or the x method. We should all know how to do that now. It should be easy for us. If not, you've got to keep practicing. Well, what multiplies the negative 3 and adds to 2? Well, that would be 3 and negative 1. So now I'm in factored form. I'm ready to go. Let's find my domain. My domain is all real numbers except for what x is not allowed to equal. Well, x is not allowed to equal negative 3 because if I were to plug negative 3 into x, I get negative 3 plus 3, which is 0, and 0 times anything is 0, and I don't want to divide by 0. So x cannot equal negative 3. Another one that x cannot equal would be positive 1. I plug in positive 1 here, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times anything is 0, and I don't want to divide by 0. So there's my domain. Moving on. Holes. We could have more than one hole, that's why we said there could be a couple holes there. Well, it's what cancels. x plus 3 cancels. When x plus 3 cancels, that means that I have a hole at x equals negative 3. Vertical asymptote. What's left in the denominator? Well, my x plus 1 is left in the denominator here. So that means I have a vertical asymptote of x equals positive 1. And lastly, my horizontal asymptote. To get my horizontal asymptote, I need to look at my degrees. In the numerator, I have x to the third, so my largest degree in the numerator is 3. My degree of the numerator is 3. In the denominator, my largest exponent is 2, my x squared there, so my degree is 2. Well, my larger degree is in the numerator, which means that I will not have a horizontal asymptote. So you could say none, NA, no, something that says that there's not a horizontal asymptote. It's not y equals 0 or anything like that. There's no horizontal asymptote.